Hey guys, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you 11 things in detailing where less can be more. So less is more, what does it mean? Uh, there's a lot of things in detailing which cost more money simply because they are from detailing in general. However, a lot of people tend to overlook the fact that these manufacturers are actually telling you to use less of their product and actually then get a better value for money from it. So I decided to break down a few of those in this video here today. Wax. Now, when you're laying down a layer of protection on your paintwork, something so thin you can't even see that it's on there, it really raises the question as to why people layer this stuff on so thick it looks like they're plastering their car. Less is most definitely more when it comes to waxing. It's gonna be easier to apply, far easier to remove, and ultimately it's going to lead to a much better experience whilst you're waxing. Snow foam. A lot of manufacturers will tell you to use just an inch of snow foam in your snow foam lance. Uh, if you use too much product, you may get this gorgeous, luscious, thick foam that you tend to see on Instagram posts uh, and glorified detailing shots. However, this tends to lead to a much thicker, drier foam, has less wetting of the dirt that's on there and far less movement as it clings and sticks to the paintwork and doesn't run down the panel. It's really one of those products that, well, it looks pretty, but it cleans shitty. Tire dressing. Now, it's easy to slap this stuff all over your tire when you're dressing them, but this lack of control is gonna to lead to you coating your wheel in tire dressing as well, which is gonna cause extra dirt and brake dust to stick to them and cause them to look dirtier even sooner. Also, it's gonna fling up the side of the car onto the paintwork the second you drive down the road. It's just bad practice layering this stuff on, so just don't do it. Glass cleaner. Smeary glass, it's a common problem. Using too much glass cleaner is often the root cause of this problem. Spray it sparingly, spray enough to get the cloth moving across the panel, but do not spray this stuff like you're trying to drench the window, it's just gonna cause you problems. So, just go steady with that one. Upholstery cleaners. Now, not everyone has access to a, a wet vacuum, and even those that do sometimes get this wrong. It may seem a great idea to drench your seats and drench your mats in order to get as much dirt out as possible. And yes, whilst you're doing it, you may get the sort of results that you want whilst you're looking at the dirt coming out of the cloth. But sit in that seat the very next day and it's still sopping wet, trust me, you're gonna wish you used less. Fallout remover. Now, the cool color change that comes with fallout remover may be the attraction for a lot of us and actually draws us into using these products far too often in the first place. But do you know that fallout removers, when in use, actually are acidic? That is to say that you are unnecessarily putting acid onto your wheel more than it needs it, which is ultimately gonna to lead to a dulled finish. So just pack that one in. Water. Yes, granted, that's not one that these detailing companies are trying to sell you mostly. It's only a matter of time. Um, but sometimes less is more with water. Consider, for example, you're working on an old classic and holding water in some of these old classics where they will rust uh, and they may even have original paintwork is not a risk that that owner may want to take. Add into that that some of my American friends and in other parts of the world just have a downright ban on hose pipes and using water into the public causeways, then you may actually realize that a rinseless wash is a blessing. Polish. That is to say polish and compounds. You load up the pad when you're machine polishing your car and you may think more polish equals more cut, but in actual fact, it can lead to a clogged pad which actually reduces the level of effectiveness of that pad. Now, what do you do in turn when you see a reduction in the cut that you're expecting? That's right, you put even more polish into that pad. This is one where it's so counterintuitive, but less can be more. Sun and temperature. That's right, sun and temperature, another one of those that isn't a product being sold to you, but consider this, as we're in the throes of winter as we are now, a lot of us, myself included, are wishing for the warmer days and the sunnier climates. But consider that most of these products will tell you on the back, do not use in direct sunlight, avoid high temperature situations. As the summer rolls around, and as much as we wish it's here, you may find yourself wishing for cooler temperatures just the same. Dilution ratios. Now, this one is a big bugbear for me. You see dilution ratios on most of the products we buy nowadays, snow foams, pre-washes, wheel cleaners, and so on. 
And you may think by ramping the dilution ratio up, you're gonna get a more effective product. And in actual fact, you're just taking unnecessary risks. A lot of these manufacturers have tested these products to a point where they are usable and safe in equal measure. So why try and second guess these people that have spent thousands on research and development? Just follow what they tell you on the back of the label. And finally, pile. No, not that kind of pile. Um, a lot of Korean cut, super plush, teddy bears arse microfiber towels are on the market nowadays. I love them, they're all the rage. But do you know that less pile is sometimes more? That is to say, when you're removing waxes and polishes, uh, a lot of them tend to react better to a shorter pile microfiber towel. And then you can go in with these longer, plusher microfiber towels for the final buff. But just goes to show that the more expensive plusher towels are not always the best thing to reach for first. Really is one of those less is more situations. So that's my less is more video. Did I miss anything? I'm sure I did. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy this format of video? If you did, let me know what you'd like to see tackled in future and I'll be sure to work on it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.